Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're back with more Europe Advanced Capitals. I'm going to be Anita Snow, the pink lady from Canada. We've got Fog and Blizzards on, as usual, for the classic meta settings. Let's get into it. Boom. I am the pink player. I'm in the fourth position. I have a, a decent couple little spots up here in the noob corner. If yellow doesn't cap in Iceland, we may go for it. If I'm yellow, I'm probably capping Vienna. He's got a better cap than Vienna, it looks like. So if we're looking at... Oh, the... no, that's not a pocket. This gets through. Okay. What are the blizzards cut off? Scandinavia and Russia are cut off. So Russia's not a good hold. What else do we have? I could actually go Oslo, right? That's not bad. Still has access to the noob corner as well. Maybe dissuades blue from going here. Because I can roll him. Hmm. If I can take Scandinavia noob corner, Scandinavia and noob corner, that's not a bad position. I might be the that might be the play for me, right? Because yellow's the other contestant here, really, or blue. But if I go like blue caps here, I will take his capital turn one. So it's way too risky for blue to cap there. The blizzards do cut off Africa from Africa. Other than that, though, Orient's cut in half and Russia's cut in half, so it makes them a little awkward. I'm gonna go. I am. I'm just gonna. Take that capital and go with it. Blue better not mess around, though. He'll have a 5 capital, and I'll be able to roll like a 12 on 5. And I can even manual roll once. Like, I might even add one troop here to four to manual roll. See if I get a good manual roll. And then go like 11 on whatever's left. That might be a higher percentage play overall. Bring it on, blue boy. You better not. He didn't. He didn't! Wait, what are you doing with this? Put all your troops here. Where are you going? You're going to take France. And my tiny nipples went to France. Sorry. I said the word France, and I thought of that movie, Bruce Almighty. And uh, the old Evan Baxter news anchor. Okay. Now we are... We're looking like we're pretty content with the current situation. This current state of affairs, we're fine with. I go everything on this three and try to take the noob corner and then bring this other three to my capital. I'll go for Scandinavia next. I'll take Scandinavia, yeah, because noob corner I want to claim. Scandi next. I'm hoping yellow doesn't uh, screw me over here. So, our opponents, we have General Skulls from Italy. 19,000, so we've hit the 19,000s. 19,000s now the newer accounts. Door Nindaya, uh... Even reading that backwards doesn't make sense. From Germany. Achilles Sneedcroft from United States of America. We've got General Fung, United States of America. And Nerf Blaster, 27, United States of America. So, my situation is as follows. Let's ram dingle the noob corner, baby. Good dice. Good enough. Oh, I will five on two. Oh, the dice, baby boy. Oh, yeah. Now that is a turn one. Let's go. Snowball time. Beautiful. I just want to take a moment to thank everybody for enjoying my content, stopping in every day to watch my videos. It means a lot to me that there are thousands of you that come in every day just to hang out with me, listen to me talk. I say so many dumb things, and uh, you guys care enough to to watch and enjoy and put up with those dumb things to watch me play some Risk and enjoy it. it means a lot to me. I'm going to keep doing the best I can to provide you as much content as possible and make the content as good as possible. As you may have noticed, my main channel has been getting some edited videos, some light editing. We've been dusting out, cutting out the, uh, the old slow moments, speeding up bot turns, little things like that. 
Nothing glaring and no gameplay cuts, right? You still get the full game and the full commentary, but all the stuff in between is being sped up a little bit, give you a better experience. Everybody's got a busy day. Why spend that extra time watching Dead Air, right? And I have a second channel, Kilted Gaming. This video is either going to be on Kilted Gaming or Kilted, depending if it's edited or unedited. My second channel, Kilted Gaming, is going to be for the longer, unedited, raw Risk footage. The old, old school, raw, slower versions of the Risk game. So if you guys are into that, it's not going away. It's still going to exist. This is an oops. This is an oops. Now you're going to what? <clears throat> not open my capital? No. I mean, I'm just going to come through here. Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. What did he start with? Like, that was a terrible decision by General Skulls, right? You started with nine, so you're going to start with five. So as long as I leave, like, a three on this capital, I'm fine. But I'm also going to go right through and break you. I'm going to make sure yellow feels it. We might both lose right now. It's the noob corner, so why not fight for it? Like a bunch of noobs. What do I get? I'm going to get six troops, maybe. I could come out this way. Or I can 13, 12, 11, 10. Hit his two. Come all the way in. Fortify back to capital. He gets five first turn. He will break me again. He would be six, uh, five, four, three, two. Like, he wouldn't break Iceland, I don't think, though. I think I can get away with this. The only downside is if green gets bonuses, he probably goes and tries to take my cap. What is green getting a turn? Five. Okay. Do that whole heartfelt speech, and now I'm going to get suicided and slammed into by yellow, and this is never going to make it to YouTube, so it's unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Perfect dice, and I am okay. Yeah, I need I need a four cap. Okay. Screw you, yellow. It's not terrible that I got that and get to hold a four cap, right? Yellow, oh, green only gets three troops, and he's a bot. So he actually lost his cap, got smoked. Great. So yellow only gets five. He can six on four my cap. I'm so lucky that green is a bot and not a player that's holding a bonus right now. It's the only reason I get to do this noob corner fight. Yellow should not be able to break both of these bonuses, right? He makes a six. He takes his bonus. It's a five, four, three, two... A two on one, like he needs perfect dice to break both bonuses. And if he doesn't succeed, I will bully him out and I will at some point hold Burgundy with a stack that he can't get through. I'm going to put yellow in the dumpster. My goal is to snowball these settings and win the game. Red is probably going to win. He holds, like, red holds Daneric Alps and Southeastern Europe right now. He's going to get, what, like 15 troops? He might even have a second cap and a ton of territory. I don't actually know. Like, blue's a bot, too. Green's a bot. Don't know what blue's doing. I don't even know what the whole conversation was. Short, short form, if, if, if you want the long, raw, unedited footage of my Risk Games Kilted Gaming channel is for you. Highly advise you subscribe to that channel, which is maybe this one. And uh, would love to have you. Okay, perfect dice so far. I need him to lose a one. On one of these rolls, he has to lose a one. Funny enough, I almost have Eastern Europe. Okay, he stops there. Cool, so I get six, seven, eight. I could actually nine on for him and pop this and completely ruin him. Yep, red gets 15. He's going to let us fight and take the rest of the board. Very, very smart. Red will snowball this game into a win, I think. But I'm going to show Yellow why you don't fight your neighbor at the start of the game. He's going to learn this, and he's going to learn it the hard way. But maybe he'll be a better player in the next one, right? <clears throat> now, if Yellow has a trade on three... Hmm. Maybe I can just make him bot. Purple's starting with eight. So what does he have? Spain? I think Purple's got Spain. Wait, no he doesn't. Doi, you can't have Spain. He's got two caps. Purple has the bot cap, the green capital. If purple can fight red a little bit, he's not going to. But uh, if he would, that would help. So I get nine. Great.
How do you like this, Yellow? Are you having a good time yet? <laughs> Dude, you gotta play what you're given, right? That's what happens. I mean, I went for Noob Corner. I am at fault. It is my fault for capping here and thinking Noob Corner belonged to me. How dare I go for something like that? Yeah, Blue's a bot still has his capital. Did Yellow quit? Not yet. He's got a revenge play. He's got the trade on three, of course. The man from Italy could have went for Italy, but instead wanted the new corner. He's a secret Brit. Okay, like there's there's a world in which red does snowball but ends up feeding kills. And I can actually there's a couple kills hiding up in Scandinavia, Russia here, and I can oh four on three. He can't even break me now. Because he lost a troop on that. This is a um, under 50%. Yeah, now you're done, bro. Now I end your game. I bring this three out and sit in Burgundy with a big enough stack that him with a trade can't even get through. Red is humongous. 18 a turn. Wowzers. Okay. Is he going for kills? I mean, if he's wasting a lot of troops to get kills, it's good. But if he's taking all these bonuses, we're in some trouble. Purple, you're going to slow him down, right? 12. I mean, he's got a bonus now in two capitals. I think it's Spain. It took a second capital in Africa, maybe? Means the right side of the board is clear for red to just rampage. I just have to hope that green and blue don't have trades on three because they would give yellow a bigger trade. Although I may just knock him out of here to not have to worry about it. Oh, he rolled that out, cool. I mean, I could try to take this bonus, but it's not gonna work. 11 is enough. So he gets five, and then he gets to trade for four. He could make a ten on ten. And that's if the bots don't trade. Bot trades on four immediately. So now yellow's trade's worth six. So now he can make a twelve stack on my ten. I mean, it's still not 100%, but I don't want him having a positive roll, right? Like a, a better than 50% roll. But I also want to put him in the dumpster, and I want him to quit. He might also not have a trade, which would be great. Blue could maybe not trade on three, or else he'd have a 14 on 10, which is really bad for me. That's getting into the 80%, 90% range, which hurts a lot. I do have a trade to reach around, slam him in the back door. If he tries to mess with me. If yellow doesn't have a trade, I will be happy. Good, blue doesn't have a trade, though. Blue also didn't start with the bonus. So he's going to die to red very shortly. Red might start double, triple killing the whole board in a second. I have to look for opportunities for kill. Yellow hasn't quit yet. Oh, he doesn't trade. Oh, taste the pain, doggy. Red gets 20. I mean, it's not over for me. I clean this pocket maybe and sit on my cap. I could maybe even uh, take Prussia and stack in Prussia. Hmm, does red let me hold that? He's thinking it as he trade. He's getting so many troops, dude. Okay, purple. What are you doing, sir? 
Time for me to have the most epic comeback of all times against this red player that's rampaging the whole board. Right? We still play for the win. Always play for the win. That's two attacks for purple. That's all he's got. Damn it. He starts with 12, I start with 12, red starts with 20, so... I mean... There's yellow. Let's make that a 13. So if blue bot trades, he can make a 14 on 13. Keep that block on him. I'm hoping blue doesn't trade. Because if blue trades for 6, yellow would get 8. 8 plus 5 is 13 plus the 1. He'd have a 14 on 13. It's a little bit over 50%. I mean, if he, if he rolled that and missed it, he'd instant bot out. He'd probably just instant quit. And then the bot would probably fortify off capital. Which would set me up to kill him for his 2 cards. It'd only be 2 cards, though. He wouldn't get a card. But that would be good because I could trade and then take, take us two cards and I'd have a big trade ready. And then maybe I can start this war with red and take him out of this section. Right? Blue bot traded. So it is swinging a, a bit in here, but it is going to give him more. So he's getting... Yeah. So he will have the 14 on 13. If he didn't, it would have been a 12 on 13, which would have been better. I mean, it could be a 16 on 13 if he's got a plus two in Paris or Marseille. So I'm hoping that's not the case. Maybe he goes somewhere else. He does go somewhere else. He doesn't even fight me anymore. Good. Dude, if he's going to go right through here and then start fighting in, in the, like, Italy was red coming into Africa. If, like, we've made him hit red. Good. Red starts with 17, dog. Red started with 20 last time. So he lost a bunch of territories then. Didn't lose a bonus, but lost territories. I think. Or, like, how else would you lose three troops a turn? Unless you lost a bonus, but gained territories. Maybe that was it. Did he lose Italy, but he gained territories over here? Oh, he's trading. What's he doing with it? If he feeds me yellow, I'll be happy. I would love to get the yellow kill. He's attacking fast. He might come around. Nope. I... I'm going to look to see if I can kill yellow on my trade, right? Because I am getting the biggest trade. I get the 15. Right? Purple gets the 12. I'm going to get the 15 trade. If I kill yellow successfully, it'll turn into a 20 trade. The problem being, green and blue only have two cards each. So killing them will not trigger another trade. And they're both going to take a third card. And then red's going to go for them. So that's a problem for me, too. Unless purple's a good boy and kills them now. Unless they're down here. Maybe I could kill them after yellow. Possible. <laughs> what in the world is happening? He's hitting a lot of stuff. This I like. He leader's got two caps, but I already knew that. But he's hitting a lot. Like, if this is red he's hitting, we're looking real pretty with this noob corner. Oh, baby. Okay. Do I have him? Sixty percent? No, I don't. Hmm. Do I say that he doesn't have a trade and I'm good? Go to Netherlands with my 43? Hmm. Do I bank on yellow not having a trade? That's my question. If he doesn't have a trade, I could kill him next turn. Oh, baby, I have a trade on three. 
I thought also about going to camp. Green's card blocked? Green's card blocked. So somebody has the green bot trapped. They just wanted to make sure it was his last spot. So they will be killing it now. Which could be red or purple. Which will trigger a trade. It'll take tick him to five cards. Now the blue bot also is about to take a third card somewhere. If red starts rampaging the board, I, I mean, did purple smash the crap out of red is the question, right? We'll find out. I am praying that yellow does not have a trade on three. Also, that, that red got ramdingled by purple. This is so risky. If yellow trades on three and hits my 43, I'm toast. Oh, he went a different direction. Wow. Okay. Yellow had the trade and didn't full send me. I'm so happy about that. Red's immediately attacking. He's going to kill green now. Does he have the guard on him? What did red start with? 17. So no, purple hit the crap out of everything, but not red. So purple's got the kill guard on green, I think. Unless red's taking a bunch of the board before he kills. I think green and blue die before my turn. Green and blue both die before my turn. And then I have to play my current position out as best as I can. I have to get my troops back on capital. Ideally, I'd like a better... Oh my god, red didn't do it. Purple's gonna double kill? Purple only gets seven. Red ram dingled purple, but he's got the guard on green. So he's gonna trade. Kill green, trade, and punch red? I can trade, come off here, go looking. Because I can bring this back to capital, right? Leave a 10 here so yellow can't come through and bring the bring 32 back to capital. Or 33, get back to cap. Yeah, okay, so he did have the green kill. Now he triggers a trade, resets the timer. Gives him 30 more seconds to think and do stuff. Now, does he kill blue? Because if he doesn't, I will kill blue immediately. Gonna go to the right, kill blue. Oh, right into red, dog! This is amazing. Leader's two out of six. Purple was the one with two out of six, so this I need to watch. Because if this went to three, it means stuff's happening. I think I trade, try to kill blue, and then go back to capital. Big, oh, blue had a wild card too. Damn. Shoot. Okay. Back to cap. Oh, we're in the game, baby. Let's go. Set a fist bump. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Mm. Uh, White's got what? Like 50 troops-ish? What did he get? Five. Doesn't even have Spain. Red traded for 35 with a 13 start. Where's he going? His cap's down here, right? He's rolling fast. Where are they fighting? In the Orient? He's going to come out of the Orient? Who? that little finding blue in the tip of here. I'm like, where could blue hide? So I sent enough to get this tip, and then the rest was going to come look in the Orient if I couldn't find him. Red attacked a lot, but none of me. 
He attacked every, like, how did you attack so much but not me? By the way, the leader has three capitals. It must be red. Is purple dead, dog? Purple gets five. He's got one cap. How weak are you, dude? Oh, my God. You bought it! Does red have him kill guarded is a question that I need to know. Red's got a cap here, so how much do I need here? Red's gonna go for that kill. Crap. Zero percent. Great. No. That's a well played. I need yellow to get it. Yellow gets purple, maybe? I would love it if yellow got purple, because if red gets it, I'm in trouble. I have 152 troops. Red has 50 here. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh man. Well, it's gonna be a very tough end game. Because he's gonna get the trade from purple and be a card ahead of me. He's gonna go check the corners to make sure. It's smart to go check the corners to make sure. He's gonna go down, down, down and make sure I'm not guarding a stack here. I should have put it here. Oh. He's got all the time in the world. As soon as he kills him, he gets to... Believe me, I have no clue what's going on. How is Purple alive? You guys tell me. You tell me how Purple's alive. Is he in Galicia? Is it is, is, is does does Yellow have Rabat and he's in Morocco? Like does neither of them killed him, dude? What? <laughs> Yellow shouldn't get through there, right? The trades aren't 50 yet. <laughs> They're exactly 50. Whatever, dog. I have a 50 trade right now. What the hell? How is purple alive, dude? What is this game? Well, I, I'm assuming I win in 10 minutes or less, right? Like, at this point. Yellow's been starting with five a turn. He hasn't traded in a while, right? When was Yellow's last trade? It was a long time ago. Oh, Red's ram dangling me? Nope. He's running to single stack this capital. He's running from me. He sees... Oh, but I can cart. Wait, they can. Are they gonna card trade in here and leave me all alone on the outside? Cards aren't big enough for that to matter yet. I'm gonna single stack in uh, Venice, boy. Oh, and I'm gonna have two big stacks that nobody can get through. Watch what I do here. Oh, baby. I can even trade early, right? Because the trades are. Fifth. I don't have to trade early. Purple gets another card. No, no, th this should be fine. Okay. So yellow at most gets 55 or something. So I make this a 75 and I do this. Oh, 
Huh. I thought you... Okay. I thought he abandoned this cap to come down to this one. 50... Let's say 100 on 62. I'm probably fine. Where do I go with this? I think I'm fine. Yellow skirt block, dude! Red is 21. Wait, red is 21. He's farming. Red is farming, dude. He's gonna open my 38 and be like, shit. There's no way you don't see the 30. You, you see the 30. There's no way you see it, so you have to open it, right? When you take your bonus. He's trying to break it all. He's gonna break it all. He literally went to everything except for this 38. It's like he saw that fortify. What? What does that mean? <clears throat> does he have a kill guard on yellow is my question. What is going on? How does this happen? I've still got 24 a turn. Do I wait? He's got them both card blocked. Well, 50 plus my 24 is how much? 76? Hmm. I'm just going to go for the kill on yellow, and if I fail, then I'm, I'm in some trouble. There we go. There we go. Okay, yellow's down. That was yellow's card block right there. So purple's card blocked in here, which is fine. I'm going to hold this. Purple doesn't have a trade. Red's getting 20-something, so he has this. He's going to trade? Hmm, what do I get? I don't even know. Do I have a trade on three? I think I beat red in this 1v1. 82 is going to do the reach around slammer. That's fine. Does he hit my 58 at the end? I don't know. I get three cards. He gets his third card. So I trade before him. Is there a world I set up a card block? He's getting 21 a turn, so maybe not. He'll get more a turn if I let him hold all these bonuses too, right? 21 a turns like this. He's not retaking really this bonus because he knows his stack needs to be accessible. So this could be an interesting 1v1. Thank you for finding my 58. You gonna know, open my 64 too? He never saw this. There, now he does. Nice speed. Yeah, purple's getting nine to turn, so it has this bonus with its capital. Hmm. I get 13 now. Hmm.
That's no trade on four, isn't it? Oh, gross. I think I'm beating him, though. What? He's got 117. I have 217. I've got 100 troops more than him. And a card. Like, we're equal in cards, but I get the card before him. And I'm 100 troops up. So, it should be fine. He also can't break all of this stuff now. <laughs> yeah, so if, if we play the tradesy back and forth, me and Red. Yeah, and he's screwing up his sliders. I got him. I've got him. Like, this cap's gonna be weak. If I could trade right now and take this cap, he'd be super easy card luck. Too bad I can't. He's very lucky I don't have a trade right now. But I still get 10, what, 20 troops or something? I could also give purple one more card and go for the purple kill. But, like, purple being trapped here is fine. I can play this game with red. Yeah, this stack can't get over. Okay. He trades first and then I trade. Like, I have 186. He's got 62 here. Plus, what did he just trade for? 65. So, right? He's at 130 that I can see. He's also got a stack maybe guarding purple, though. But he's got 130 effective troops. Not going to open my cap again. Oh, there you go. He opened that one. Good. Thank you. Like, if I take this... If, sorry, if I take his uh, Trieste cap, he's done. He's also slow enough. I think I'm fine. Like, if Trieste is going to be at most 70. I can probably take it. I can double slam it. I can actually double slam it. 65. Because he traded early for that, right? That was an early trade. Now I could tra actually, if I could card block him, it'd be great, but I can't. But if I take the cap, that'd be great. 150. Oh, there we go. That's enough. 50 will guard from purple. 32 is enough for him to not doom it. Oh, baby. Now he's going to hit purple. Now he's trying to kill purple because he knows he's screwed. He thinks I'm card block, but like I got his one here and then I can also get purple. I can hit cards on purple. He's done now. Do I have a trade on three? No. It's going to say good game. If you're red now, now you focus on killing purple because you've realized I'm going to end your game. I meant to slider that and I didn't. Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> Whoop-de-doo. Okay. Yeah, buddy. You know what would be good right now? Coffee. 
right? Like I'm recording right now. It's in the afternoon. I've had my morning monster a few hours ago. Now I'm feeling like just some coffee, right? You drink your coffee black. You like your coffee like you like your men. I do like my coffee black. You make whatever jokes you want. I don't make jokes. I'm only serious on this channel. Serious strategic risk gameplay. High level competitive brain mindset. The brain juices of a legend. Oh my god. Which is the legend of... of I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. See, I need the coffee. <laughs> you guys are here hanging out with me, so you, you're just as guilty as I am for whatever I am. Right? Like, that makes sense. I could try a 70 on his 40, but I could just do this alternatively. And make this a 25. Oh, purple got a trade, though. Hoo 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 hoo. Hmm. Is purple actually killable for his four? That would bring red back into the game. That is funny. That is funny. I'm just saying that is funny. <laughs> Go ahead, kill him for his cards, dude. Oh man, I gotta trade on four though. He bought it. He bought it. We will give red second place, though. I think that's the honorable play. Even though purple's going to trade and make these caps big and be a real pain in my ass, I will try to give red second place. <clears throat> oh my god, would your bot stop doing this? I'm going to just give you third, bro. I'm going to just give you third. Look at this. It's just beelining for the bonus breaking. I do not like your bot, bro. Just saying. Do not trade on four. If it didn't trade on four. Oh, do, 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 do. What does that mean? I don't know. But I get to, to I get to trade kill purple first, and I can actually give red what I wanted to, which is second place. Because he earns it, obviously. Red played a great game. He snowballed early and kept going and going, and purple was the guy that uh, he was fighting with red, and, and then he bought it. So, suck it. That makes sense, right? Oh, I don't have to do that. I can just do this. Leroy! Oh, yeah. Just in case. Well, purple's gone. Now we now we finish red. Let's go. That's that's what I am talking about. All of the talking, all of about it. And we do the old world down victory. We send off... Thank you guys for joining me till the end of this video. Let's check these ranks out. I appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, this is my second channel. Longer, unedited gameplay. If you've always enjoyed that from me, it's not going away. It's just going to be here instead. And if you want my best games that I ever play, they will be curated and put up to you with the highest quality possible on the main channel, Kilted. So most of you probably already know about that, or all of you do. We got two masters, two beginners, and an intermediate. We double killed a couple masters there. Feels pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next video or this one right here.